This time, let's go with the Napalcom Entrance Exam Free Online Reviewer Sponsored by TopNature.ph um, Updated by Dragon Cueva, Driven Cueva last um, May 11, 2021 So the coverage are the following General information, verbal reasoning, quantitative reasoning, and logical reasoning Let's focus on basic concepts on quantitative reasoning so this practice test consists of 30 multiple choice objective questions so let's start with which of these is not a quadrilateral so quadrilateral has four sides and four vertices rectangle rhombus trapezoid triangle square so obviously triangle Next, if two angles are vertical angles, so if two angles are vertical angles, what relationship exists between them? So again, if these two angles are vertical angles, vertical, so vertical, uh, it's in the form of X. Um, an example of vertical angle is an X. So, with what relationship exists between the between them? Congruency, inequality, being adjacent, yes, being supplementary, being complementary. So, uh, congruency being equal, yes. The two angles, opposite angles, are congruent with each other, yes. Um, that's a relationship. Inequality, not being adjacent, yes. Two angles are adjacent also being supplementary uh, being complementary yes complementary then two angles um, when you add two angles will give you 90 degrees while supplementary when you add two angles will give you 180 degrees so let's try congruency it's being supplementary two angles when you add will give you 180 degrees continue Mr. Santos gained 15% based on cost of selling three-fourth of the shipment of textiles. Um, he sold the remainder at loss of 10% of the cost. And what percent of the cost did he, did he gain on the entire shipment? So let's analyze. Mr. Santos gained 15% based on the cost. 15% um, from three fourth, fifteen percent from three fourth of the shipment of textile. So three fourth that is um, seventy five percent. Seventy five. That's point seventy five, brother. Point seventy five is the fifteen percent. Um, he sold the remainder at loss. So one, I will subtract it with three fourth. In which, if we will convert 3 fourth into decimal, that is 0.75, subtract 1, I whole 1 number minus it by 0.75, that is 0.25. He sold the remainder, so the remainder is 0.25, that is 1 fourth, at loss of 10% um, of the cost. So, there is what percent of the cost did he gain on the entire um, shipment? So, Let's try 5%. Okay. Because he gained 15%. Subtract it with the loss. 10%. Um, so 15 minus 10. That is 5%. Next. A tank was full. Was one half full of water. One half full. After 420 gallons had been taken out. Um, it was one eighth full. Find the capacity of the tank. So, um, a tank was one half full of water, one half only. After 420 gallons had been taken out, it was um, one eighth full. Okay, so from one half, it be it was reduced to one eighth. It was already reduced by uh, reduced into one eighth. So, from one half, there are 420 gallons was taken out. 
and it becomes 108.8. So it means to say 18 full 18 plus 420 will give us the full. Uh, will give us one half. It from a full tank, one half full tank equals 420 gallons and one eight full. So that's the um this time let's try to answer um what's the answer and later we'll just show you how this was obtained so let's try um 1120 gallons correct it's 1120 gallons i will show you this how i will make screenshot uh, Continue. 10 cats cough 10 rats in 10 seconds. So 10 cats cough 10 rats in 10 seconds. Okay. How many cats are required to catch 100 rats in 100 seconds? So given 10 cats equals 10 rats so 1 is to 1 and per second in one second um one cat catches one rat so let's try 100 okay it's 10 okay it's 10 so i will just show you how this was obtained continue Ramon has a horse and a carabao. Ramon has a horse and a carabao. The horse is two-third as old as the carabao. Two-third as old as the carabao. The difference between their ages is four years. How old is the carabao? <clears throat> so, <clears throat> the horse is two-third that's the age of the horse. Two-third as all the carabao. So, let X be the age of carabao. So, therefore, um, it will become X will be for the age of carabao. And then, two-third two -third X for the horse. So, the formula will be... Um, 2 third x minus 2 third x ah x it should be first the x x minus 2 x third equals 4 again the equation will be x that's the age of the carabao minus the age of the horse which is 2 third x and the difference that's why minus because the difference of their ages is four so just um, I will just show you how to do this so let's try um, 10 years oh it's 12 years <clears throat> that's the age between um, the horse and the carabao so the carabao's age is 12 that's the x so the substitute your 12 to 2 third x which will give you 6 divided by 3 the age of the horse is 12 times 2 um 24 divided by 3 will give us 8 years so therefore the age of the carabao it's 8 12 minus 12 minus 8 will give us 4 so that is the difference so the carabao is 12 years old and the horse is 8 years old so subtract 12 and 8 will give us 4 which of these fractions is equal to 3 fourths so 3 fourth is just equivalent to 0.75 okay 0.75 so here it's also a fraction so very common it's 12 all over 20 because 
the GCF here is 4. Ah, the GCF here is, um, uh, no, it's 21, 8. 21 all over 8. Why? It's 21 all over 8. The GCF here is um, 7. 21 divided by 7 will give us 3. And 20 divided by 7 will give us 4. <clears throat> what is 111% um, equal to? So just only move the decimal point going to your left. So 111, move two decimals. 1, 2, so will give us 1.11. So again, 111%, it's 1.11. Next, a boy starts walking to school at 7.30 a.m. at the rate of 3 miles per hour. That's the, the speed of the boy walking to school is 3 miles per hour. At 7.40, at 7.40 a.m., his brother starts for school on his bicycle at 6 miles per hour. When will the boy on the bicycle overtake his brother? So, the first boy is walking. The second boy is bicycle. So, at what time they will, at what time, the when will, so what will be the time for the boy using the bicycle to overtake his walking brother so 7.30 a.m. for the boy who starts it only a difference of 10 minutes 10 minutes after 10 minutes the brother starts already um, starts bicycle with a speed of 60 miles per hour so double the double that the speed of the boy um, starting to walk so let's try um, since there is a difference of 20 minutes so a uh, 10 minutes rather uh, let's try this 7 um, 10 minutes 740 750 okay it's 750 a.m. so I will just show you how this was obtained continue what is the boiling point in Fahrenheit scale so um, the boiling point of Fahrenheit but it's for Celsius it's 100 degrees Celsius. So for the Fahrenheit, the degree Celsius add it with um, 100. Uh, add it with 112. So from your 100 degree Celsius is the boiling point plus. Um, I think it's 112. Uh, let's try 212 degrees yes in Fahrenheit in, in Celsius the boiling point is 100 degrees Celsius while in Fahrenheit the boiling point is 212 degrees Celsius next the square root of 25 times the square root of 81 is what so square root what is the square root of 25 it's 5 what is the square root of 81? That's 9. So 5 times 9 will give us 45. Continue. Next. When a number is added to its additive inverse. Again, when a number is added, is added to its additive inverse. What is the sum equal to? A number. Example 1. 1. What is the additive inverse of 1? Negative 1. So we will add that it's equal to 0. Let's try. 0. Because example, a number 
the additive inverse of inverse the reverse of 1 it's negative 1 so 1 plus negative 1 will give us 0 next what is a trapezoid trapezoid the has four sides with four vertices um decagon rhombus parallelogram rhombus and parallelogram are also similar are also quadrilateral do decagon do decagon 12 sides um quadrilateral yes trapezoid is a quadrilateral with four sides and four vertices next the value of 2 to the fifth power is the value of 2 raised to the power of 5 we will multiply 2 5 times so 2 times 2 4 times 2 8 times 2 16 times 2 32 again 2 raised to the power of 5 so 2 times 2 2 times 2 4 times 2 8 times 2 16 times 2 32 continue <clears throat> which of the following is smaller than 0 0.031 is smaller than 0 0.031 so it's um, 0 0.0092 that's the smallest if 30% of a number is 12.6 find a number so simply the number will become our x multiply it with 3.0.3 equals 12.6 so simply um, divide both sides by 0 0.3 I will show you how this one so one third of the selling price um what part of the cost was his margin so i will show you how to do this one so let's try to answer two third okay wrong that is one six so i will show you how this was arrived one six continue <clears throat> 36 is four seven of what number 36 is 4 seventh of what number so therefore our number will be x and then multiply it by 4 seventh equals 36 so it will become um, 4 times x and then 4x and then um, cross multiply the 7 multiply it with 36 will give us 2 or 21 that's 250 um 252 mm. so 252 divided by 4 uh let's 64 uh it's 63 i will show you how to do this one let's continue what is one half percent equivalent to one half percent so as we all know one half is um 0 0.5 so convert that into decimal 0 0.5 percent so 0 0.5 move it with two decimals to your left yes so add two decimals so therefore it will become 0. 005 0. 0.005 Okay Continue Which of the following is heavier than 5 kilos of steel rub? 5 kilos 3 kilo 6 kilograms of cotton balls 3 kilograms of iron bars 10 pounds of gold bars 5 pounds of halide, 6 pounds of galvanized iron. iron. So, obviously, it's 6 kilograms of cotton balls. That's bigger than the 5 kilos. Continue. 